You are watching TGZ TV. The Global Zambian, the only magazine that celebrates quality, cross-cultural lifestyle and entertainment. Hello, hello, and good afternoon, everybody. How are you, Nana? How are you doing? Your mic, okay. Your mic was muted for a second there. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it was about to go in. Right. How yeah. are you doing this afternoon, Nana? Good afternoon, I'm everybody. Good, Welcome thanks. to the live. I'm good. Thanks. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm not too bad at all. Obviously, this is um, one of those rare um, occasions where we have actually come live in the afternoon because normally we do ours you know we do we have our live session yeah. in the evening and the reason for this nice obviously, as you've probably already seen on the title is because we've got a special occasion happening where our nana over there is not at her usual location but in fact she is at the kazadi film studios where as you all know the divorce club was shot and produced and so today she's going to be taking a tour around and speaking to some of the members of staff as well as the crew members and just delving into the process of producing the divorce club so that people have you know a better understanding on what goes on behind the scenes and who gets involved and how much is involved you know in putting on a show such as divorce club together all the way from the editing to the camera people all the way down to how they handle the drama all around you know uh within the offices so right. nana you're over there let tell us a little bit about what the viewers should expect tell us a little bit about what sorry i didn't get that what the viewers should expect um i haven't yet gone believe it or not i haven't yet gone into those details what the viewers should expect but um, I'm currently in the editing room mm -hmm. and I can hear bits and pieces. I've heard, um, I think I heard Eunice's, I heard Eunice's, um, what do you call it, episode? Yeah, mm -hmm. I heard that and I heard a bit of Psycho Bay as well. And they, oh. they seem very dramatic. So yeah, like <laughs> you should expect a lot of drama. And, is it Eunice is kind of come with attitude from what I can hear, so uh -huh, uh -huh, it ain't uh -huh. the Eunice you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you should be ready. Oh, wow! So, wait, you've said you're currently sat in the editing suite, yes. Um, I'm in this, I'm in the room where the sound is being done, so I can. <laughs> I can kind of hear the episodes. So yeah, uh, the one that I remember the most is Eunice's, obviously. So yeah, I can hear that. And it and, seems really, really dramatic. I'm excited to hear what, because she's not the Eunice that I watched on the first episode, no. Really? From the sound of it, from the sound of it, yeah. Interesting. It sounds very really? fancy. Really? I'm sure you, yeah, I'm sure you will, you will. 
like what well, she that, that, that is a bit of a surprise that is definitely a bit of a surprise mm -hmm. so in terms yeah. of like the atmosphere and the editing team and you know obviously they're trying to make sure that they give the best that they can for the viewers right. how is it feeling yeah. like is you know d does it feel like the the editors there in the background have got a lot of pressure you know or is everyone just kind of calm mm -hmm. and just getting on with what they need to do um I don't know how I can put it. Um, most of them are they seem calm, but obviously mm -hmm. under pressure to deliver. Uh, mm -hmm. I saw David come in um, a couple of times to make sure everything is okay, and he's very hands on. So, like he's mm -hmm. literally moving from department to department. I hope I get a chance to speak to him and stuff. Yeah, that's really, so, really yeah. good. So, on this tour that you're going to be giving us, Nana, where is going? Where is our first destination going to be? Okay, it looks like Nana has frozen. Okay, you're back. <laughs> okay, you are frozen oh, on back. that side. I think network oh, is I'm not back. really working oh, yeah. to your favor. Network is not working to your favor. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. You know how it yes, is. Yes, I was saying that um, in terms of the tour that you're going to be giving us, where is going to be the first section that we're going to be privy to today? Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to the um, production manager's room first, or I'm going to speak to David because David has passed here. And um, yeah, I think I'll speak to the production manager first because she she actually has some interesting things to say about you. So about me, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's, I I'm like intrigued. You. I am intrigued indeed. Um, but obviously, before <laughs> Nana gets up and um, takes us on this tour, uh, I am just going to send a reminder for our viewers out there: if you are currently watching us on YouTube, please do not forget to click on that like button. And of course, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to click on the subscribe button and of course the bell button so that you can receive notifications every time we upload new content and obviously every time we come live as we are right now. And of course, for those people who are watching us over on Facebook, if you're watching over on the Global Zambian Magazine page, as well as um, the Zambian Videos page, please do not forget to click on that like button of the video that you're watching right now. And of course, do not forget to follow either one of those pages and tweak the notifications so that you can receive alerts every time we upload new content and every time we go live as we are now. And so obviously, um, Nana is interacting with some people um, as she prepares to take us on the studio. So Nana, we're going to switch over to your other cam that you are using. Okay. Okay. Um, so that you can be able I think to... David, ready? Okay, all right. I'm I'm going to David now. So let me just switch to my other camera. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So obviously none is now gonna take us on the camera. So we're just gonna do a switch around to avoid any feedback. One second. One second. One second. One second. Okay, and can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Okay, so I am heading over to David's office now if I can find it. Okay, we're seeing so your you... thumb right now. We're seeing your thumb, we're seeing your hands. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go over, obviously, to David's side of the office, and then we're going to take it from there. Go ahead, Nana. Take it, take it away. Okay, just hold. Okay. We're still seeing your hand, Nana. Be careful with your hand on the camera. One second. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to do that. You know I'm not a very tech... Savvy. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we're seeing a person. Okay. Okay. I'm here, David's office. One second. There, there he is. What's that, man? <laughs> Hello. Can you David. see him? Hello. Yes, we can. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, David. Okay. All right. Uh, it's your <laughs> office. Where? Okay. So 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. David is a very busy man, by the way. So, mm -hmm. so we see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. David, how are you doing? You look good. You look really, really good. Yeah, you look better in person, by the way. <laughs> My pictures don't do me justice. No, no, no. They they're okay, but like in person, it's like okay, wow, yeah. So I'm impressed. I must. I have to put it out there. I have to put it out there. That's good. That's yeah. Good. So um, I, I want. Sorry. I, need to get I don't think it's that though. It's just I don't know. It's just your in person is better let's just let's just put it so like come that meet me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah if you want to see what i'm seeing you have to come meet david you people yeah so i have to put it out there that this is the first time i'm meeting you people think i work here right. yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah i know right <laughs> yeah fl people everyone thinks i work here they're asking me details Oh, is that your yeah, uncle? Um, <laughs> yeah, so everyone asks me, uh, Nanga, episode, the next episode, whatever. I'm like, I do not know anything and I don't work there. Oh, bro? Yeah. That so maybe that's a sign. Nah, that <laughs> yeah, so what do you think about our review show? Normally you come to our platform, but yeah, so now we're in your territory. Yeah, so I'm yeah. sure you can uh, be free. Um, listen, I like, I like your review show. You're very honest. I mean, I obviously now we've sort of built a sort of relationship between mm -hmm. yourself and Anaka. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's not what I, what I observed was, irrespective of our relationship outside of your review show and outside of work, mm -hmm. it doesn't affect um, how you guys work. So okay. it's just like your review just do straight to the point. If you don't yeah. like something, you don't like something. Yeah. No, you're not going to like something because now we're friends and whatever. Yeah. You will say, no, they really like it. And I love that because. In, in an industry and country full of yes men, mm -hmm. you need some people to sort of be reliable and not go in line. And sometimes I agree with the reviews, sometimes I don't, but honesty and respect is what's most important. So I, I love your show. I think you should be getting a lot more views, to be honest. I think Zambians and whoever's watching around the world should be tuning into the TGZ. Um, you know, it is what it is, man. People tune into other stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. yeah that's, that's the long and short. Yeah, ever since you came on, we've Kind of our views have kind of skyrocketed. So thank you. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I had, I had an interview with someone and they were like, since I did an interview with you, I'm getting so many female requests on my Instagram and I'm like, yeah, yeah. they should see you in person. I insist. I <laughs> but then I have to say, um, last week's review was kind of hard for me because obviously we've developed a relationship. So it was kind of hard for me to be like, to go in there, right, right. but I had to, you know, stay right, true to right, right. the situation right. and everything. Yeah, and I gave my honest opinion, which I, I love the show anyway. So yeah, yeah. Uh, Ethel is the one that you should be worried about because <laughs> she's the mean one. I actually need to speak to Natasha about that. She yeah. she has a few things to say. Do you, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Natasha has a few things to say about yeah. Ethel. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. So can we head yeah, over to? I'm just this gonna come in here. Sorry, I'm just gonna come in here and say uh -huh. I'm not the mean one. I'm not the mean Apparently one. Apparently, you You're are. Simon Cowell, man. You're Simon Cowell. I'm not Simon Cowell. <laughs> and I'm the polar abdul. <laughs> Boring, but okay. <laughs> so let's let's go find out what they think. All right. Who we see Uh, we're going to Natasha. She's ready for me. I think. Okay. I must say, the studios are huge. Still under the I like, I love the decor. I, I am enjoying the decor. It's very... Um, We're here. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's show the... We're here. We're here. Oh, okay. This is where they are. In Zambia. In Lusaka, to be precise. Literally. <laughs> Ethel, do you think he's tall? He insisted that... I mean... Do you think he's tall? Oh, they can't see you. There's a. <laughs> Are you see me in relation to someone else? Right. So yeah, it has to be in relation. Okay, to we're here with. So I see you in relation to a basketball player, maybe. Oh, actually, we we do. Where's version? 
We do have a basketball player. When we go see uh, what's his name? Uh, we love him, Steve. He's a basketball player, and you, you're going to see him. Oh, we'll see him, and then we'll compare. Yeah. Hi, Natasha. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. Please tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do here, and all that. Well, I don't know where to start from. <laughs> so my name is Natasha. Mm -hmm. I am the office manager. And also production manager, mm -hmm. sometimes producer. Okay. Yeah. You have a lot of hats, yeah? Too many. So uh, earlier on, we had a conversation about, apparently you watch our review show, you watch, you've seen a couple of episodes. What do you think? I would like to know, what do you think about that? Sometimes your story is a little bit harsh. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit less. I hope you're hearing. <laughs> uh -huh. Go on, feel free, we're in your territory, so you can... Please be honest and blunt. Yeah. 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 Show. Sure. Ethel, Ethel is a little bit harsh. Mm -hmm. Mama is a little bit friendly. Uh -huh. But overall, we like it. It's okay. amazing to see that uh, people are talking about our show. Yeah. 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 And um, is there anything in particular that you can remember that uh, Elaka was kind of harsh on? Do you remember? Yes, what, I what, do. What, <laughs> what was it? I got a little bit tired when she spoke about our host's uh, outfit uh -huh. for a reunion. Mm -hmm. I thought we did a very good job. Mm -hmm. I, what did I she guess, say? To Elaka. Be honest, I did agree with you just a little bit because I told David and I was like, I don't like this dress for the first episode. David was like, I want it, I want it. And I like it. Under so, the bus, David, yeah, to go. So, <laughs> I didn't like it as much, but... He, he's responsible for the for that, for that dress. It's not it's Natasha. Not She's it's normally not the set designer. Yeah, no, I dress so basically I'm the production manager. Mm -hmm. I handle cast members, I handle everybody that walks into the office. And also, everybody that is participating in the show. Demo, and to this is the girl so to be. <laughs> Demo, this is the one to see if you want to. Uh... I handle the costume, <laughs> the logistics, so basically everything that has to do with people's um, well-being and how they look. Mm -hmm. I that. Oh, okay. That's yeah. that's interesting. Uh, we are definitely, this is why as TGZ were reviewing it, we're definitely loving your show and we appreciate everything you're doing i love the outfits she hated um what's her name what's the mom's name uh what's her name linda, linda. i didn't dress linda who dressed linda because ethel she dressed why linda. why did she dress herself because she ethel like, called her outfit apparently looks I like a like night well. I didn't like it a nightgown she, she but I was feeling it. I wasn't. Me and Linda, same WhatsApp group. I, I was feeling that outfit. I, I had a very beautiful dress for her, but she said, no, I have my own dress. I was like, oh, I'm cool. I want you to be comfortable. Wear your own dress. And she wore that dress. Ethel has something to say, but I can't hear you. Ethel, do you want to say something? You are, uh, okay. we can't hear Hi, you. Natasha. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. It's a pleasure meeting you online. <laughs> I know, right? David was literally trying to keep us yeah. to myself. <laughs> oh, you had a question for her as well. You had a, Alaka, you had a question. Right. For, yeah. In terms of the dress, what was the reason why you didn't like the dress? Why you were kind of like a little bit unsure of the whole Jesus. dress? Priscilla's Priscilla's dress. The horse. The dress. Which the horse dress? Yes. What was it? What was it that you were unsure I'm, about? I mean, I like the dress, but I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was a good dress for the first episode. Maybe for other episodes. So that that was where me and David kind of clashed mm -hmm. because I told him I like the dress, but not for the first episode. It was like definitely for the first episode. I was like, alright, cool. There's the man responsible for all this. <laughs> you should listen to the woman. <laughs> I gave a perfect. I gave a perfect description as to why that dress didn't work. Because I think the dress in itself was a nice dress, but it was not a good sit-down dress. It was not a good yeah, sit-down no, no, no. dress. That way, you couldn't really see. I, 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 I love. I love the dress. Uh, maybe I looked at it when she was standing up, so I love to dress. 
I still love to dress. I decided to. It's probably a nice dress standing up, but it's not a good dress sitting down. Because you have to, when it comes to sitting down, things like reunions, you have to look at the outfit, how it looks when they're sat down. Because that's the part that people are going to view them from, you know. And as for the Linda, I'm sorry. Linda, for me, I was like, burn that dress. Because I just kind of felt like she was a bed sheet. That was a she bought a what? She said she bought a bed Wow. Not even a curtain. <laughs> it was a silk bed sheet. It, it literally looked like a, stu- a silk bed sheet. It was a big no. That but that's not on Kazadi film, thank God, apparently. <laughs> that's not on them. She insisted to bring that it dress. insisted on wearing a silk bed sheet? Apparently. So, wow. yeah. <laughs> that's... <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's not my dress. She refused your She refused my dress. She said, I'm not you're slowing down. I don't know why you're slowing down. Who, me? You're in slow motion all of a sudden. Okay, it's the network. Are you back? I'm here. You guys haven't disappeared. Elaka, are you back? Yeah, I, I, I wasn't gone. Oh, are we frozen? You guys are in slow motion. <laughs> Elaka. <laughs> you guys are in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are in slow Oh, it's motion. a network. Okay. Yeah. I think it's the Oh, network. okay. Uh, so, oh, okay. Um, David, where are we going to next? We had a lovely oh, conversation gosh. with... Okay, so we're leaving Natasha. Yeah, Natasha. Natasha, are you in Black Dollar, by the way? Yes. Ethel, uh, Ethel is one that pointed that out. So oh, yeah. She remembers, like, yeah. What role did you play in Black Dollar, please? Yeah. Really? No, you I still haven't seen Black Dollar, oh. imagine. You should. I've, where can you I should. watch it? Is there anywhere else besides Showman? <laughs> Maybe I should watch it before I leave. You should. Nana, okay. you should be ashamed of yourself that you haven't watched it yet. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, yeah. yeah, so I think before I leave, I'll watch it. You did it. a great job. You did a great job in Black Dollar. Well oh, done. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So you know, much. I, I, yeah, you know, you know, I have my honest opinion. <laughs> so <laughs> there is Natasha, the assistant. Hi. 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 She's also Natasha, apparently. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. She's <laughs> Olivia. Natasha's assistant. Oh, nice. Olivia, nice to Yeah, meet. yeah. Thank you, you guys. Bye. Thank you. So nice. Okay, all right. So, this is Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Hi, how are you? They do all, everything to do with the money. So, like, budgets and all that stuff. So, these are the people we need to see. These are the people you just can't see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so there's not much to ask them. Like, I don't yeah, know. you know how I can't. Yeah. It's just numbers. It's and... like yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Have you seen this? The winds of change are coming here. And the winds of change are, are, here. are here. So yeah. what are you what so, are you telling us there? So the design from the low was basically I'll tell you that story later. So the Mazzoni film was local to the company. Yeah. Uh-huh. And the tree makes sense once I Oh, okay. And there's stories of the brands. Stories of that. Hey, hey, throughout. How's the production? What's good? Who do we start with? Ooh. Do you want to send us through to me? Wait, wait, let's see the Yeah, story. please, let's. That's coming soon. You might need to zoom in. We can't say much about that, but it's coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I know what that is. <laughs> so okay. this is Steve Willombe. He's a basketball player. So this is Let's... the guy who's tall. <laughs> Elaka, are you satisfied? This is the tall guy. How tall is that? He's like six foot four. Yeah, one nine seven. One nine seven. Yeah. And how tall I are you? Know. What's that in feet? What's that in feet? That's six foot four. Six foot four. Yeah. Yeah. But basketball players are like seven foot, like seven, you know, six uh, ten. Can you be happy for? Can you just be happy? Like, you know. This this is Zambian basketball players, so let's just. No, it's more compared to other Zambian. Yes. Yeah, it's more compared to other Zambian. Zambian, Zambian, Zambian men generally are quite small. Look, 
I'm not feeling <laughs> short <laughs> next to these guys, so I don't know really. <laughs> Either I'm really tall or I don't know. Because I'm not feeling short next to these guys. Right, so Vic Malo, you want to be the editor? So Vic Malo, chat to her about your process. Vic Malo? Victor, but we call him Vic Malo, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Any relation with uh, Vicky Malo, that lady? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay, so please let us know what's going on here. What are you doing? So right now, I'm editing episode two of the divorce couple winner. Oh, yeah, you're not going to show us the uh, no. Kajongo. Uh -huh. David, so come on. Eh, what's the Kajongo? Show us, show us, show us, show our viewers. The snippets. That's, ep that's episode two? That's episode two. That's Venzu, right? <laughs> I'm, so I'm on top this, of things. I'm posting this on uh, so it's not even out yet. No, no, no. Can we get it clear so that so, our okay? Why is it muted? It's not. Oh, okay. which one is it? Because now, for everyone, even our viewers, everyone is confused. <laughs> No, 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 no. So you felt like you had no choice. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we want more. We want more. No, that's it. That's okay, it. so okay. tell us a little bit more about what you do and um, yeah. So of course, uh, what I do is I make sure you are not video editing. You make sure everything is okay to, uh, to mm -hmm. deliver videos once we see from the camera team. Mm -hmm. Make sure you come with a final product, which is like you make sure it goes through Da Vinci or mm -hmm. Adobe Premiere. These okay. Are the editing software. Okay. So make sure you share sound with the sound personality, sound designer, your bit. Also work on sound, or sound still work on graphics, to graphics, as well. And Peter, you go with motion graphics, then you have one who Oh, that's that's good. That's interesting. You look yeah. like a very busy man. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I see Joe B there. Yeah. I saw him in the. Um, the be <laughs> yeah. Okay. In the behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, the lighting is perfect there. I need to take some pictures here before I leave. Abyss saying hello to the crew. Oh, Abyss is saying hello to the crew. Hi, Abyss. How are you doing? Welcome to our world. Okay. Uh, Abyss is uh, in the UK. Hi, JLB. Is that what you go by here? Or you have a government name? Job. Okay, so for those who don't know, I don't think there's uh, anyone who doesn't know, but JLB is an artist and now he works here. So JLB, tell us a little bit what you're doing here at Kazadi Films. Okay, um, here I work and sort of handle all things sound. Okay. From, uh, from, uh, from one set mm -hmm. um, uh, to, to uh, post-production, it's all sound. Okay. It's all my, my, my part of the, how do I say? It's all my part of the job, you know? so, yeah. Okay, so it comes easy for you because I know you're a producer, right? <laughs> Musically. Did yes. you produce anything yes. for me? Did you uh, ever produce anything for me? We never came to the studio. We never, we never <laughs> got to the work. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. But him and I hang out quite a bit in the music industry. So it's weird that you didn't produce any. Did you think I was not that great or what? No, just never had the time. Remember, you were very busy with XYZ. Yeah, yeah, I was. I was. Sorry? What did you say? <laughs> so, are we expecting any music from you anytime soon? Yes, yes. With the launch of what? What are we going to next up? Brand new music. Let's go, Chan. Uh, can I? Can I? Stay there. Stay there. No. Can I come? What? When, when is Kazadi music launching, Mantwamulung? Twenty twenty-two. Oh. Twenty twenty-two is like in two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. 
Yeah. So basically, this uh, is everything, 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 everything else. So, Elaka, you need to send me here in two weeks because <laughs> there's something I need to finish. <laughs> and uh, we have the gentleman over there. Yes, Steve, so. Okay, before before yeah. um before you move on to the next gentleman, Nana, Wait, I just have a question for um yeah. JLB for JLB as well as the, uh, for the editor for both of them. Okay. Um, oh, yes, should I've got, a, I've got a production question for both of them. I just want to find out in terms of um obviously working for Kazadi Films and editing um the divorce club in the Sam. sense that obviously you were filming it and not shortly after obviously within a short space of time you had to release it to the public how did you find having to edit the footage and edit the sound so that it kind of meets the quality standards that are required on time for public viewing how's been that process for you in terms of work ethic putting in regards to how work ethic normally is in zambia and just for yourselves as individuals Okay, um, one of our mottos here is how you do anything is how you do everything. That has literally been built into our heads. So, by force, by fire. <laughs> by that man, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, so, from the get go, we're trying to get the best out of what we're doing. And then, um, looking at uh, the limited amount of time involved, it's been so much fun and so much hard work that. I don't even know how to describe it. I think one of the best words I've used is war. You know, you're, you're expected to produce high, the highest quality or the highest level of quality content and do it in a short period of time. It has been so much fun, but it's, it's a lot of hard work. But the process has been really cool because, I mean, if it was easy, everybody would do it, you know? Right. So we ex Expected to be hard. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it looks impossible, but hey. Do you, Joby? Do you sometimes write? Because I remember your music was very, very dramatic, and so I would like to see you write a series or something. No wonder. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I've got a follow-up question to that. I've got a follow-up question to that. So. Obviously, you had to do a lot of things um, under pressure, you know, both of you doing the editing side of it. Um, compared to what you might have been accustomed to before, okay, because, and it's really important, the reason why I'm addressing this is because obviously what Kazadi Films is trying to do is change the narrative on how people work within the entertainment industry, dealing with pressure and dealing with high quality under pressure, okay? Um, oh, has Nana dropped the phone? Are we there? Are we still here? <laughs> Are we still here, Nana? Yeah, we're coming. <laughs> okay, can you hear me? All right, we're yeah. good. All right. So in terms of what you were accustomed to before, as opposed to what you are having to handle now, do you think that that has actually changed um, your, in terms of your perception? on how you feel the Zambian industry, entertainment industry as a whole, needs to adapt to in terms of having to reach international levels, you know, kind of reaching the same levels as we see when it comes to international productions? It really, it really, really has, you know. Um, we have a tendency here in this country to sort of seem to be very busy, but not really going anywhere. You know, the results are very mm. minimal compared to what we seem to be doing. But we, we, we never had time to just seem busy and not have results here. You know, uh, you, you put in the work, you, mm -hmm. you, you put in five and mm -hmm. you get 10 out of it. You know, you don't put in right. 10 and get five out of it. Mm -hmm. so right, it's, right. it's really been an eye opener. That's really good. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, so where yeah. are we? Who's yeah. the next person? Who is the next person that we've got? Steve, it's nice to you. Uh, we're going to Steve. Steve, you come where the lighting is. You Otherwise, know. people are gonna think you're not cute. <laughs> <laughs> Brother got the loop. I mean, hi Steve. Tell us a little bit about what you do here. Um, I'm head of graphics at Kazadi Films, mm -hmm. literally what media group right now. Mm -hmm. It's a very involving department okay. because not only do I focus on branding the image of the show, I also get involved in 
the everyday activities, post production, just the company in general, and everything that we're trying to put out as a company from Zambia to the world. Oh, okay. And how's that going here? How do you enjoy working here? It's tough. Your boss is here, but okay, yeah. I'm sure you can. Yeah, <laughs> Uh huh. DK, to us, is not only just an image of the boss. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like he's like a leader in an NFL league. You know, he's our Colin Kaepernick. Mm. He's taking up the knee <laughs> and showing us the peace to the world. Mm. It, Come on. It hasn't been easy for him to actually understand how things work around Zambia, but it's been an overwhelming experience on his end and on our end learning from each other. Okay. Yeah. So in a nutshell, in conclusion and in connection to everything that we are trying to achieve as Kazari Films, mm -hmm. we put it um, in branding, we put it in, in, in sound, we put it in picture, um, and it gives us everything that we are looking for in the competition world of you. Okay. All right. No, um, thank you so much for talking my, to. My, sorry, my, yeah. yeah. My, I just want to make a comment to say that you know, I one of the things apart from obviously the production value that I do love about the Kazadi films is actually the graphics. You know, I'm I'm from an art background, so I always pay close attention to the graphics and how it looks. And you're doing a phenomenal job. If Kazadi, so how, from, from a scale of one to ten, how are you going to rate David, the graphic? Is here. If David ever fires you, we we will know that it's David's fault, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a huge compliment. <laughs> So well Thank done. You On a scale much. of one to ten, Elaka, how are you rating him? I would rate him ten out of ten, honestly. Did you get that? Really? And this is yeah. coming from a fellow graphics designer. That's huge. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. huge. Look, our world is the most beautiful world. Trust me. We do things that even if you don't want to watch, you have to press play no matter what. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you for having me, guys. Talk to Pio. Pio. Next to the Christmas tree. Peter's motion graphics. Okay. Peter, how are you doing? I'm good. How about you? Good. Thanks. You're not feeling hot, yes. Peter. Peter's always wearing something. <laughs> <laughs> nice level. <laughs> Please let us know what you do here. Um. So this is Peter X. Uh -huh. uh, I work on the graph, uh, motion graphics for Kazadi Films. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. That's it. So anything for... you see us moving, whether it's the logo, oh, motion graphics, uh, okay. The logo, animations, the voice club stuff, like anything you're going to see us moving and graphic, that's this young man right there. I, I have to pay attention and on the next episode mm -hmm. on each of them's on roles. The yeah, 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 yeah. Like I would like to see. So right for, for we like level exclusives. Cash. What's love or cash? Mm. Come to oh, <laughs> Sounds interesting. Look at that. Let's see. You want love or you want cash? There we go. Yeah. Okay, the so we're going to. We have, I must have to say, like Peter does. I love the new little um effect that he, because he does motion graphics, right? So he's the one who's responsible for adding the effect of the couples fighting over the ring in the divorce club logo. Yeah. I think. Oh, there we go. Are you yeah. Back? Uh, we oh, were talking to. Sorry. Down. I was saying that um, yeah, Peter is really, really responsible. Bad. I was saying that Peter is obviously responsible for being the person that um, made the couples fight over the ring on the divorce club logo, right? Yeah, yeah he is. He is. Yeah, I, I actually love that effect. I noticed it obviously because it that got introduced in the reunion, and I noticed that I was like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. I wish you guys had it like you know from prior, but. Again, great job. Honestly, the graphic department, motion and graphics, you guys are doing a phenomenal job. Have you heard? Yeah, all right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't talk much. <laughs> there we go, there. 
We're here with Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Please tell us a little bit about what you do here. Mm -hmm. and, um, okay. okay. Yeah. So now, just being a bit creative with uh, simple design. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so, what are you working on right now? Uh, so I was working on a simple design for this new album. Speak up, speak up. <laughs> but I was working on a simple design for this new album. Yeah. yeah, he's working on something. Yes. Something important. <laughs> yeah, you look really busy, you guys. Yeah. So then we have him, then we'll move on. This is the young man. Anytime when you see story producer, he's the guy who does the research for all the people that come with the Oscar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, young man. Looks. Young man, what's this your name? Young man, and the content creator. So you're you're That's you're the content right. creator? Oh, okay, what's your name? This is his first job. Emmanuel Victor. Emmanuel Victor? Oh, interesting. Tell us a little bit more about what you do. So, as a copywriter, my jobs are to make sure our content mm -hmm. it, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. It tells a narrative, it has to project what the company is about. Mm -hmm. And uh, every bit of document here has to go through a minute before it's issued out. Um, are you also in charge of uh, the swearing? Are you the one that brings that on? Because <laughs> there's a lot of swearing. <laughs> That's the same. No, no one says no. <laughs> no one objects to it. I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, somebody's uh, asking you to be honest, calling for an honest opinion here. So, are you the uh, guy? For me, we're doing the words. I will come to words. Something like swearing. It's all words. So, so there's no difference. There's no difference. It's not exactly, there's no okay, difference. you say it's okay. Oh, I, I okay. Know, I want to interject on that. I want to interject on that. Um, I understand that people use profanity or whatever when they're arguing here and there, but I've also also felt as a writer, in order to convey a message, swearing is not always necessary in the sense that it doesn't always hit the point that the person's trying to make. If anything, it, it doesn't matter swear word, but they do that. So remember, it's a reality. It doesn't matter. I know, I know, but I haven't finished my questions, the both of y'all. Um, and so, in terms of no. having to have balance, <laughs> in terms of having to have balance, mm -hmm. how do you think it's important to try at least find a balance where there's not too much swearing, so much the real dialogue is not lost? Yeah, it, it, it calls for, you need to avoid them as much as you can, but when the emotion calls for that, it has, it has to be there. But then I myself don't condone swearing. I, I don't promote it. It just happens. It just so happens. Yeah. It's out of but your hands, the, basically. The example is the character of Isabella, right? The character of Isabella, literally every other word is a swear word, so much so that half her sentences, she's hardly saying anything but swearing, right? <laughs> He's, he's not like trying to... That. Like, that's a reality <laughs> like, he's not yeah, involved oh, in that, apparently. Oh, you're not involved in that one? You don't help with the dialogue for Divorce Club? Because that's that one is re so. that one is reality, so they just go, they just so go hard to... or go home. Uh, again, I beg to differ, but we're going to be here forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> David, where are we going to next? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Dylan. Into uh, Harry the Bob. Okay. Like a snake. Goodness me. All right, I'm coming to you, though. So, right in front of us, we have Richard. Richie Rich. Hi, Richard. Richie Hi. is the head of tech, so he handles all things camera. I mean, he's going to tell you this. Okay. Richie, you're, you're live on TGZ. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're live. Boom. Okay. Can we turn the light into a white light? Can we turn that into a white light? turn that into a white light, please. So it doesn't look like we're in a blue room. So what do you do here? And uh, oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, perfect. Yeah. 
Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, basically, we, um, oh, my name is Richard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the head of tech. Yeah, yeah the head of tech. Yes. Okay. So, uh, please explain to us, uh, <laughs> how is it like working in the technical department? Is it a crazy department? It is, it is. You always have challenges in life you need to set up. And what I've been told by my boss is always when you have problems, huh? mm -hmm. before those problems, you have to find solutions before you encounter them. So mostly, you normally have. Um, you need to find solutions to the problems, problems. before you encounter yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're always ready for whatever problem. Oh, that's interesting. So I'm I'm pretty sure there never problems in the technical department since not as much. Yeah, yeah. but sometimes we do. Well, we don't get to see them yeah, because yeah. you guys are stay on top of things. Exactly. That's good. Are you able to introduce us? I see a couple more people here. Yeah, come guys, one by one. Yeah? Um, We're not gonna be moving back. They they look really busy though. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Agnes. Hi. Hi, Agnes. Hi. What do you do here, Agnes? Um, I'm the first AC. Uh, so first AC is the first camera assistant. Mm -hmm. So my job was uh, to make sure um, the equipment is safe. Mm -hmm. Get in the oil place. Uh, what do you mean when you say first camera assistant? First camera assistant is the person who make sure the equipment is okay. Uh -huh. and also so it's not like first camera assistant in Zambia. She's the first camera I'm assistant in Zambia. in Zambia. So she's the first first camera yes. assistant in Zambia. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Confusing, but okay. Yes. Yeah. So uh -huh. My job as the best AC is to make sure um, I do the focus fully mm -hmm. whenever we have a shoot. I mean, what I mean is uh, making sure the, the picture is on in sharps. Mm -hmm. The focus is on point. We don't film in layer or soft. That's my job. And make, making sure the equipment is, is okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. No. No. Thank you so much. Who's next? Hello, my second AC. Oh my gosh! One second. I have a major problem. <laughs> one second. One second. Okay. Whilst Nana Nana right now is trying to sort out her camera as we wait, obviously um, we had we're kind of almost. Um, Are you? almost i think caught away through the tour of um kazadi films where you've gotten a chance to meet the graphics department the sound there? department the Sorry. editing department um, all the way to the office manager who you know um takes care of the talent um the admin all the way down to the logistics in order for the production to kind of come together so basically the office manager natasha who we met in the beginning she is the focal point person just before david or should i say after david to ensure that every single person within their department is actually doing their job right um and then obviously we've kind of like um uh, fl you know, flowed all the way to the others. Um, right now, we're just waiting for Nana. Nana, can you hear me? Okay, we seem to be having a problem with Nana's phone. Okay, so I think we're going to have Nana back shortly. And we are going to presume. So the next person, obviously, that we're going to be seeing is the second assistant um, camera operator. Um, and Nana is back. Hopefully, let's have her back here. Let's see. Okay, are you back? Yeah, we're back. Reception, I'm just trying to. Reception in Zambia is something else, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Something okay, we're else. back. Yes, so you're introducing us to the second um camera assistant, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, that's the second camera assistant. What's your name, miss? Uh, oh, Ethel, you have a namesake here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, namesake. She's going to be my favorite Hi. when I come to visit the studios. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Dave is not happy about that. <laughs> second to you, David. Second to you, David. Second to you, David. <laughs> <laughs> please, Ethel, please tell us a little bit about what you do here. Um, well, I think 
basically I'm the assistant assistant. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> and who's your assistant? My She's the assistant. Like, assistant. The She's the second AC. So. She also needs an assistant. <laughs> Yeah. So that the chain doesn't end. She gets, she gets the grips. So, yeah. Those are like my assistants. How do you enjoy working in this department? It's really hot in here. That's yeah. considered the guys' department. Let's, let's just highlight. <laughs> it's, yeah? it's like so much fun. You're working with the guys. You get bullied around and then you bully them. Yeah. How, is, how is it like being a female in the tech department? Because usually these departments are male dominated. Fun, mm -hmm. like in the first, uh, in the beginning, it's a bit intimidating, but then when you get used to it, it's like it. it's, mm -hmm. it's so much fun. You get to bully the boys around and all that, and you just get used to it eventually. Oh, okay, all right. What's the the most interesting thing about working in this department? The most interesting thing would be learning new stuff every so often, mm -hmm. something new, you get shouted at, you go home. I'm back. Who, who shouts at you? <laughs> okay, I'm sure I have an idea of who, who does the shouting around here. <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking to us. Is there anyone else we need to Come, speak to? At the same time, the two of you. Best boy. Uh-huh. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hi. What are your names? My name is Matthew. Matthew? Matthew. Massey. Okay. And what's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Zulu Bida FG. Oh, what do you guys do here? Um the best boy. I help uh, like the best boy. Yes. As in the best man, the best boy. <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. Yes, so Please elaborate. I help out with the gaffer. What's the gaffer? <laughs> like you need to <laughs> speak you know. up with the, uh, the gaffer is the person that deals with lights. Okay, okay. Yes, so I help out in dealing with lights. Mm -hmm. Help out. With that. Okay, interesting. And uh, Peter, I'm a good boy. You're a good boy. A good. Oh, he <laughs> grieved. <laughs> okay. Then where's, where's the bad boy? <laughs> oh, okay, you're a grip. A good boy, um, a grip boy. He grip. Oh, okay. Yeah. Please um, explain. Uh, and bear in mind, I have no technical. Idea, okay. Yeah. So. So what I mean is, to flowers and rainbows yeah. for me. Uh -huh. This gets damaged. I'm the one to look after it, and mm -hmm. leave me is so much here yeah, that. Both of us do. Okay. Sometimes we might not just stick to one job. We do a lot of stuff. Sometimes we handle sound. Sometimes we handle lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this is this where the um, divorce club uh, was shot? No, just no, no, not just. This yeah. is just okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for talking to us. Okay. We proceed thank with you. our tour. Let's David, go. where are we go. going to next? Next, we're going to Studio 2, which is where the Divorce Club reunion was shot. Right Woo. Now, yeah, you're welcome to the Divorce Club reunion set. And you are surrounded by Supernova. Oh. You, Supernova. Come, let's I, I'm let's, sure let's, Ethel let's has. <laughs> Ethel must Charles. have a lot. Hi, Charles. Charles Hi. is Supernova founder and CEO, I think creator too. Oh, so okay. Ask him that's... questions. Hi, Please. Charles. How are you doing? I'm doing. And he wasn't ready for this, so this is good. Speak up. <laughs> Charles, you must ready. you must have had a really stressful week. I did. Because <laughs> how is it going? It's good now. It's good now. Have things stabilized? Because I have a cousin who was unable to to log in. That's a nice she... way to start. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we go. <laughs> We go right in. So yeah, she had a she had issues logging in. She had a voucher from us, but she couldn't log in. So, but I I got a message from her, and apparently she's able to watch now. So yeah, we've managed to sort out all of the pending issues mm -hmm. and set up a, a nice automated way for everybody to be happy. Yeah. So even for the international payments, uh, we're sorting that out now. Okay. So there was a problem. 
there were a few problems, but uh, we have a team of very smart people. Oh, we so, thank God for yeah. that. <laughs> next to Charles. Um, mm-hmm. Who's next to Charles? Hey. Hello. No, is it like <laughs> Oscar? <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Please tell us uh, your name and what you do here. Hi, my name is Irene. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm head of business development at Daylight Technologies Supernova. Mm-hmm. Hash, hash. Yeah, so basically, I just interact with a lot of people. Sorry, one second. Okay, no, no. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're good. Please go ahead. Yeah, so I'm on the interactive side, interacting with people, trying to make sure that David is happy and other partners, basically that. David, are you happy? <laughs> I'm actually happy now. Oh, happy. oh, now? Yeah. You weren't we'll happy see. before? We'll see how long I'll be happy for. <laughs> Let's see how long I'm going to be happy for. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, and your phone's dead. Yeah, can we go to your phone? Uh, which one is which one is the link? <laughs> On your WhatsApp. Oh, she's, she's okay, it seems that uh, Nana's phone is uh, Nana's network is once again a little bit frozen, or there's been a bit of a disconnection. I'm not sure what's going on. Hang on, just bear with me one moment as we connect her to other devices. Coming. There we go. Shall we remove the other one? Okay. Give us a second, Alaka. Yes, we can see you. You know these technical things. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we still in the same studio where, where is Studio Two, where the Supernova CEO is? Because I've got a question. <laughs> okay, so we're here. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Ethel, can you hear us? I can hear you loud and clear. Alaka can hear you loud and clear. Oh, okay. We couldn't hear you. Uh, <laughs> hi, Miss. How are you? Um, I'm okay. Good, thanks. What's your name and what do you do at Supernova? My name is Chabu and I'm under sales. You're under sales? So how's that, how's that going this week? How, how have the sales been this week? It was tough, but we worked it out. You have? Yeah. Okay. And uh, the lovely lady next to you? Hi. <laughs> Hi. You wanted to run away. Why? No. <laughs> You're afraid of cameras? A little bit. Yeah, I have to put myself together. <laughs> oh, okay. What's your name and what do you do at Supernova? I'm Tamara. I'm in the marketing team. Oh, okay. All right. And how's that going? Doing well, actually. It is? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a nice time. Mm-hmm. All right. And the gentleman next to you? Hi, Bob. My name is Simba. Hi, Simba. I am the money man at Delight, head of sales. Please elaborate. We love money. Yeah, I mean, everybody loves money. Love David. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Right, David? So you're the accounts guy, finance guy. What's the story? Yeah, head of sales. Basically, any business deals come from me and mm-hmm. my lovely partner. Okay, so you're the man to see next time we come here, yeah? All Let's right. See now. <laughs> Hi. He owes me lunch. Hi. How are you? Are you also part of Supernova? Yeah. Okay. What do you do at Kazadi Films? Social media. Social media. How's that going? Are you the guys that go live? Yes. How's that going? Have you gone live today? No. How come? Okay, all right. No, thank you so much. And this is Joseph. Jo- Joseph will introduce himself. Hello. Hi, Joseph. Hi. What do you do what here, do you Joseph? Like? Yes, what do you think he does? Uh, he looks like he works in a bank, so... <laughs> so, what do you do? <laughs> I am the CFO at Kazadi Films. Oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> Very close. Can, can I... Um, can Joseph repeat that? I couldn't fully hear that. Joseph, can you repeat yourself? Uh, my name is Joseph. I am the CFO at Kazadi Films. He's the CFO chief at Kazadi Films. Chief Financial Officer. Yeah, he's the Chief Financial Officer of Kazadi yeah. Films. So you're and the one who makes going? sure that they don't go beyond budget. We are running uh, 
a lot of projects now. Mm -hmm. We're also planning for next year. So okay. Final month of twenty twenty one. And I've got a I've got a question. Sorry, what's your question? Um, as the CFO, obviously you have to deal with a lot of budgeting and and having to try and strike basically a balance, right? Uh, between being able to find the right budget that will produce the quality content without exceeding Are you able to hear what, and exceeding no, speak, without no, exceeding no. what would be the returns on investment. I'm not sure saying. Hold on, hold on, Ethel. One sec. Ethel, yeah, right. bit. Okay. To, no, it's not. Put it on loudspeaker. Go to your sentence. One sec, mate. One second. Oh dear. Okay, we're just going to wait for them to change the settings, and then we'll be in continuation. Okay. Anyway, gone. Try again. We'll, we'll Is that better? Question. Okay. Um, can you hear me better now, Joseph? Yeah. What was your question? Yes. Okay. So I was asking, as the CFO of Kazadi Films, you, you have to obviously always deal with budgeting and having to stay within budget in terms of the, you know, the productions that need to be made but also be able to still meet the quality that is required for those productions and what money is supposed to be put in versus obviously what needs to be made in terms of return on investment. How do you find having to balance that in terms of not going over budget and still ensuring that there's enough money allocated to all the different departments within you know whatever production project you're working on so that you can still be able to produce the quality that's needed? Okay, so um, I think I will try and answer the question as I got it. So um, he couldn't hear you very clearly, so bear with him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do I do, or what exactly does my office do to ensure that we we budget when we're doing these projects? Uh, firstly, what we consider is what really is the possibility of us uh, generating more more profits from these projects. Um, we believe in using money in order for us to make money. So mm -hmm. most of the time we spend uh, quite a lot, quite a bit of money in order for us just to come up with, uh, for example, the divorce club itself, from the main show to the reunion. So far this year, this has been like our most expensive project and we are looking to make more returns from these two projects. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of projects lined up, even for next year. This year we had a lot of them, but yeah, we did quite a bit. Next year we intend to take on about four projects, major ones, which are really going to be funded by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is to prioritize and see which ones are going to give us proper returns. You know, um, our local industry, our local industry, loves to consume content that is sort of dramatic. <laughs> if you look at the numbers of the divorce club right now, it, they are quite overwhelming. There's mm -hmm. quite a good response. And so we have projects that are, are going to be more, they're all going to be online and they're more, yeah, they're, they're going to be in line with the divorce club. Yeah, thanks, David. So what now, do you mean they're going to be in line with the divorce club? So oh. They, yeah. They're gonna be that makes me happy. Reality. Yeah, more reality. <laughs> so people can easily relate with the shows that we are doing. And so, yeah, we're going to do more reality TV. No, thank you so much thank for you. talking to us. Thank you, Supernova. Thank you, thank you Joseph. Thank, thank you, Supernova. You. Okay. I think you've seen. Now, you, I just want to show you one more studio. So you've seen Studio 1, you've seen Studio 2. Now let's take it to Studio 3. We are heading over to Studio 3 right now. Which is where we shot the first season of the Wolf Club. Okay. First, is there a second? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Should there be a second? <laughs> of course. How are you going to leave us hanging? So welcome to Studio 3. This is where... Right now we're in Studio 3. Yeah. I wish we had another person and then I could have lived my dream and reenacted. Yeah, or something. No, the whole call in. So this is Studio 3, this is where most of the fights happen, obviously it's now obviously being brought down with yeah. the Divorce Club stuff. Mm -hmm. So you'll see Edna over there for marketing 
Just oh, there's Edna. So is that where you are always screaming from? That's what I'm always screaming from. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be in there screaming, skip it down! <laughs> you know? So yeah, right. that's Studio 3. Then okay. when, you, when you've had enough of work, you come on the balcony, mm -hmm. which is what these lads are doing. The, have they had enough of work already? I mean, I mean they, they, they're working quite hard. And they need to give me feedback. So you come here and you enjoy the beautiful view created by wow, this is a quite... government that we shot mission. <laughs> Uh, ah, yeah, not, not me and my heights. Not me and my my vertical. Yes, you're scared of heights. Is that I what am you said? literally. Yeah, I, I've got an irrational fear of heights. Oh my gosh! Please don't do that. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> oh my gosh! Why would you do that? Yeah, so that's the studio tour done. The other side of the building is unfinished, so it'll be a bit long. Brilliant. Okay, so. Uh, Hello, lads. I'm coming to watch yeah. you Okay, so David, we're gonna have a sit down with you. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. As we Just to wrap up, up this live. Yeah. yeah. So we, cause I'm tired. This is a huge studio. It's good I've exercise, Nana. Good exercise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good exercise. So we can, we, sit, yeah, yeah, you can. Your, your light is the best light. In oh, 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 oh. I have to sit. So we're back at the place where they have the best lighting, mm -hmm. and we're here with David. Would you be able to hear Ethel? Uh, I can. I can hear him. I can hear you. No, I don't think but he. It's... I don't think he can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he can hear you. But yeah, um, how's it been so far? The experience, the whole divorce club experience because people know you for the divorce club now but there's so many other projects you're working on isn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Funniest thing is, we do we, we did it with the black Dollar movie which cost us so much more than the divorce club mm -hmm. to, to produce and um people know us for the divorce but club. then the thing is i think black dollar uh the name went out yeah. but they didn't connect it to black you the, the yeah okay. yeah so now uh divorce club has been connected to you so mm -hmm. it kind of feels like this is your first project you, you won't believe it some people still like, like I said people think divorce club is our first project but I suppose that's sort of how the nature of the business goes so there's always going to be that one project that gets your name out there then it's up to you as a production company to ensure you now start bringing stuff out mm -hmm. so with the advent of um video demand you know mm -hmm. supernova and other platforms that we're going to launch the market um hopefully this is something that's a bit more progressive as far as content creators are concerned. So now we're going to be creating more content and putting them out for people to watch without having to worry about third party channels such as a TV station and you know this this or that. And mm -hmm. We can create content from here, put it straight on the platform and then the clients decide what they should have. So mm -hmm. that's, that's a good thing. Okay. Um, oh yeah, okay. You had switched to the other camera because you confused me for a yeah, second. Yeah, no, there. no, don't worry about it. Don't worry my, about my switching. <laughs> okay, yeah, his, uh, David is helping you have a wider view. Okay. The camera's in front, yeah? Yeah, baby, brush it up, yeah. There you go, two options. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah, I'll be switching from much. camera to camera. I'll be switching from camera to camera, so don't worry about that, okay? But then your perfect light, how come I don't have your perfect lighting? Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, Shows that's on that one, I'll be so, switching from yeah. camera to camera. I'll be switching from camera to camera, so don't worry about oh, it. Oh, you'll be switching from camera yeah. to camera. Yeah, yes, you so confused us there it. for a second. Don't okay, worry yeah, about Okay, yeah, you it. were saying you're concluding some of your thoughts. For me, you are. You were. No, I'm done. I'm just like... Okay, so I, I have some... Like, no, okay. We sort of found something that works, so now it's just making sure it works for a long time. Yeah. And I'm glad. What I'm happy about is, through what Tazali Films has been able to do with the Divorce Club and seven people subscribe, which was like unheard of. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were like, we're not going to subscribe, we're not going to pay for your content. <laughs> and if you're, yeah. if you're a weak man, you might get motivated and think, oh, you know, these guys aren't ready for this sort of thing. But like, the numbers are overwhelming. You know, when we turn in and look at numbers every day and we're like, what? Zambians are subscribing to this stuff. So what that taught us as a company is people want to watch great content. They just, it just has to be good. And if mm -hmm. it's good, they will come, do you know what I'm saying? And so, to all the producers and anyone else who's creating content locally, people are happy to pay for your content, just make sure it's good. So, mm -hmm. we've sort of opened the gateway to many possibilities. Mm -hmm. Speaking of good content, 
Uh, Secret Life of a Slay Queen. Um, when is that coming out? Because 2022. 2022? Uh, so if I auditioned, would I get a role? Because I'm really interested. Oh, so let's do this. <laughs> let's. No, that, yes, that's how it let's works. Do this. Let that's me give, 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 me, give me, give me, give me your best audition right now. Um, I need you know to have a you need, you need to have a conversation with someone. Yeah. Hey, then, hey, Steve, come. Somebody with the energy. Steve, you know, come. Guy it's okay. Guy. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> We're gonna okay. put you on the spot right now. Bring right. a chair. Okay. Um. Let's go. Hold on. Hold on. F will say something. Yes, whilst whilst she's setting up, I've got a question for you. Obviously, I'm going to do a camera switch. Um, say I've that again. What? Say again, Ethel. Yep, I've got a question for you. So I've just done a quick camera switch so that at least yeah. we can still see the setup. Um, so yeah. obviously, in terms of you building up Kazadi Films, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, setting everything up and getting all your people in place that we just had a tour with, you know, and spoke to during the tour. How did you find that process in terms of finding the right people to work with, as well as basically how long it actually took for you to actually put all these people in place and train them and get yeah. them to understand your level of work ethic and the type of quality content that you wanted to produce? Good question. Okay, let me answer the question and I'll flip it back. Okay. So, okay. in essence, her question is how how is it basically building a team and understanding our work ethic? It wasn't it wasn't easy. Um, I mean, I come from the UK. The work culture in the UK is a bit different to the work culture here. Um, what I've learned, or what I've learned before I even came here, from obviously because other firms because I started in the UK before we started the company here, was find the right people they're much easier to train than finding the most talented people and then training them. Right. Because if you find someone who's talented, but they're not necessarily the right person, um, they will, and we've seen it, you know, with a lot of people who come here, they will do the work and you'll be like, yeah, this is great, but then afterwards, they can always get out the door. And so I lead my company with, with a sense of family. So like I, I said to all of them, I'll tell you this, um, there's three things. When we hire, we hire for life. Okay? It's not a question of you're coming in and when whenever I'm not happy with you or whatever, you're out of bed. No, 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 no. Like, I can be wrong, you can be wrong. We're going to fire in, you know, you're my brother, you're my sister, will fire. But after that, we move. Do you know what I'm saying? Two, how you do anything is how you do everything. And so, the way I conduct myself is how I conduct business. And that's sort of how I expect everyone to conduct business. So, you can't come to me and you're an abusive husband at home and then you think I'm going to come and give you a job because you're a different person at work. It doesn't work in my books because I literally will judge you on how you are. Mm -hmm. you. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm mm -hmm. So, anyone you ask me, um, sometimes I might, you know, overstep and like call someone out on their nonsense if I hear they're doing something that I don't agree with outside of work because that's a representation of who they are. Right. And three, um, Maybe session four. The third one is don't wait for the know-how to get started. Get started and you'll know how. And that comes off the back of a lot of people see me now and they think I was born with a silver spoon. No man. Like I grew up, you know, having to hustle, do you know what I mean? Like a lot of what people see now was built from the grounds up. And it wasn't because someone handed me something. I literally had to learn, grind, you know, earn everything that had been done. And so when we approach business and anyone that we're working with, it's the same mentality. So don't come to me and tell me, uh, David, this can't be done because we don't have this. I want you to tell me what can be done because of what we have, mm -hmm. you know, what can't be done because we don't have that. And the fourth one is, um, uh, what do you call it? Start where you are, use what you have. Like, I came from the UK to Zambia and a lot of people, a lot of people thought I was mad, you know, like you know, a lot of our producer friends and friends like, why would you do that? You've got a nice job here, you're doing your thing, very, very. Why are you gonna go into a place where you're gonna be dealing with lions and tigers? <laughs> Which is what they thought. Um, wow. But then I came here. Um, I I think the first few months it was just me working, trying to understand the system. Then certain people came in. I think the first person to, to be officially employed by Delphine, she's in Washington right now, uh, Delphine, and I basically had to pour everything that I know into her. You know, she was camera operator, sound person, editor, producer. She was learning the whole shebang. Why do I do that? And you'd be shocked that every single person in the company knows every single job in the company. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's not a single person who's going to not know how the, edit, 
for editing chore codes. There's not a single person who doesn't know how uh, a producer has to work, how a camera point has to work. And the reason I do that is one, for respect. If you know what someone, the processes that someone has to go through, then you're going to respect the job that they need to do and you basically treat them as your equal. Um, as opposed to, no, I'm just going to stick to what I'm supposed to do, you do whatever you've got to do, I don't really, I don't really deal with any of that. Um, so yeah, like, a lot of learning, a lot of teaching, a lot of patience, and just sticking to my character. I grew up in a house where my dad would always tell me, your talent will take you places where your character won't be able to keep you. And that's something that's always running in the back of my head. Character is everything to me. Like, you could be as talented as you can be, but when you're, the moment your character becomes flaky, I don't really want to deal with you. And so I transpose that into the people that I work with and ensuring that they understand that above talent is character. Okay. I have answered the question. I think you have. Great, great and answer. Uh, great answer. No, no, no. She's she's still there. She said great answers and stuff like that. So obviously, your name as uh, your name as David has kind of gone out there. People know who you are now, and probably recognize you. How how has that been for you? And how how do you handle yourself as a young creative? And uh, you've been blessed with uh, I could say success, right? This is. Uh, a certain level of success, you've been blessed with that. And how are you handling, how are you staying grounded with with all that? Like, yeah. Like I said, um, so everything that a man achieves or doesn't achieve always boils down to character. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the years that I spent trying to, you know, what people would call failing and trying and failing and trying and failing, all those years were necessary in my life to mold my character. So that when I do get to a point where you know, people you know, call this success, um, it doesn't get to my head, mm -hmm. um, nor does failure get to my heart, because mm -hmm. I know I sort of have a range. You know, I, I understand what it means to have nothing, and I understand what it means to have everything, mm -hmm. and none of it fades. Okay. So um, I've been grounded from from a long time. Like I, I do you know what I mean? Like it's it's, <laughs> it's not David. The man hasn't changed. I might have a bit more money in my bank account but the person hasn't changed, and the person will never change. And so that's the necessity. A lot of people who get overnight success might find it hard because, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you've gone from nothing to having everything without having gone through trials and tribulations, that might mess you up. You might actually get to a point where you're thinking, oh my God, I'm above everyone else. But I always believe natural, organic processes and growth are important to making sure, one, you don't get too overwhelmed and you're mm -hmm. big-headed, and two, you don't lose sight of the important things mm -hmm. because now you have a hundred thousand dollars that you can have access to. So I feel people know me, people talk about me, and like that doesn't bother me. I'm, I'm focused on, on the video. That's great. Uh, Ethel, do you have anything to say before we uh, go? Before we wrap up, um, mm -hmm. honestly, just thank you, David, for um, obviously giving us this tour. We appreciate being the first access to get behind the scenes and, you know, just get to get around the studios and get to see how you guys work behind the scenes. Because I feel like I thought this was important. I, I felt this and was the first to get a tour. So, first to get a tour. Yeah. And and the reason why I felt this was important was because I think. TGZ TV and Kazadi Films have got a very similar work ethic or pretty much almost the same work ethic. And so as a result, you know, I felt it was important that people saw behind the scenes how you work so that they had a better appreciation, because I think there's very little understanding of how much manpower, you know, it takes to put something together and the type of hours people have to put in and the amount of money that people have to put in. And even when it comes to putting the setup and everything, and this hopefully has given the viewers an opportunity to be able to have a, at least a rough idea and be a little bit more media smart when it comes to, you know, having an understanding as to why certain things are done in a certain way, why they don't receive things for free. <laughs> Most importantly, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, hopefully this will get them to that. These are people who actually have to come to work on a daily basis. And Kazadi Films making money, they depend on Kazadi Films making money so that they can be able to actually have food on the table, just like you ordinary people or you people who are viewing the show. It works Absolutely. the same way. It's work. Either way, it's a job for them. 
you know absolutely well, i'm hoping this has given them a better insight so they are human beings behind this it's not someone clicking a finger and saying here's divorce club <laughs> <laughs> absolutely you know what i mean and then nana i don't i hope you think you haven't gotten away with not doing this audition because we're about to work that I'll, I'll, I'll repeat what she said say it, say it then i'll repeat it to her i said nana i hope you think you haven't gotten away with not doing this audition right now because we're about to do that right we're now. about to do the audition absolutely she hasn't gotten away with it you haven't gotten away with it. What, you thought you were going to get away with it? On the spot. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you're not going to ask. You're not going to ask. You're not going to ask to audition for something live no, on telly like and then think that possible. you're not going to be put the on the spot. With me, I'm a great actor. Uh -huh. uh -huh. We don't do Someone that. Down a great we don't know. Uh -huh. I, I need you. Myself and David are on the judging panel right now. and We're we on are the judging panel you. right now, yeah. No, yeah, I so you have to, you have to, otherwise, that out for me. That's we're going to say next. So ba basically, no story. we don't want to hear a story. What I'm saying is she's going to get away with not auditioning. <laughs> basically. Basically. Okay, give me something simple. Give me a scenario. I have Steve here with me. Give me a scenario. I have the perfect okay. scenario. I want, I, I, I want you, I want you to be Collins and Steve, wow. I want you to be Collins and Steve is going to be the male, what's her name? The, Colin's wife? Uh, Helen. So you're going to be the, you're, you're going to be the, you're going to be the female Collins. He's going to be the male Helen. Oh my goodness. Um, and your, your audition is based on the fact that you have discovered that he, your, your man is a hoe. Let's oh. go. No, wait, I need to get started. <laughs> no, no, are we using are we using vernacular? Moment. Are we using vernacular? Are we using yeah, English only? Breakthrough yeah. moments. Let's go. So you've just discovered that your man is a, is, is a garden tool. Say again. So you've just discovered that your man is a garden tool, right? Yeah, you you be <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm gonna do that? It's a garden tool. <laughs> yeah, he's doing he's doing everyone. Your man's doing everyone. He's with he's with the maze and everyone. So you found your man is your man. My name my name is Nana, and I'm here on the show because my man is a hoe. There you go. That's your starting point. <laughs> oh wow, uh, this will be very complicated for me. And Stop, I Nana. <laughs> I'm I'm a baby. Baby. It's stalling. I... So second second episode of the TGZ Mag, we're gonna see now. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, not today, guys, because she literally Colin has is, stole. All you have to do is say what what what's his character's name supposed to be? Whose character? The guy next to you. Um, uh, the guy next to me is supposed to be Collins's wife, right? Okay, so, so if his name is supposed to be Collins, yeah. so so Collins there. In an umbrella Uja Judy, and then my DM Marco Sonny Chan, but then in Vera. And then you listen to his response. Yeah, so his response is probably the denial or whatever. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you, you can move get on to start having a go at him. Like, literally, that would have been your scenario done. That would have been your scenario. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think um, they kind of got cut off. I think we got a little bit too comfortable. <laughs> With that said, guys, um, obviously you just uh, witnessed a tour of the um, Kazadi Film Studios where they filmed the Divorce Club as well as the Divorce Club reunion. You got to meet some of the staff and some of the crew members who are very instrumental in making sure that they bring your beloved program to you, the way you see it, the way you enjoy it. And you, we also actually had the privilege of uh, meeting the Supernova team, who are the people behind the app Supernova, which is the app that hosts um, the Divorce Club reunion, where you can go ahead and register. For those who are still looking to have an opportunity to register, um, for those who are still looking to have an opportunity to register, Supernova, just make sure that you go over onto supernova.com and you can either pay you can either pay um one dollar or five dollars for a month's worth of content that you can be able to watch 
and just simply go to supernova.com, which is www.supernova, which is S S U P E R N O V A dot com for you to subscribe to watch the next episode. Obviously, the next episode of the reunion, which is the reunion part two, is going to be coming on Friday. But hopefully, before that, we will be coming on live on Thursday, where we're going to be hopefully coming in with a couple of sneak peeks, giving you a little bit of insight of what you guys should expect. So, Nana. Um, obviously we've just wrapped up the tour and we're about to close up this live. What has been your thoughts in terms of you meeting all the staff members and, you know, having a look around the studio overall, what are your overall final thoughts? Mike, Mike muted. Yeah, my thoughts are once you come in, you can automatically tell that, um, it's not, you know, stiff and uh, work environment. Everyone is chilled, but taking the work seriously at the same time. Um, he has an open door policy where anyone can interact with him. And I think it's important in a creative space for people to feel comfortable with, you know, the CEO so that, you know, the you can get the best out of them. And also, um, the space is quite... It's really, really huge. And um, I'm sure there'll be the next Tyler Perry Studios in Zambia because their space is really huge. And then there's like the other um, projects that the other spaces that they're still building and growing. So yeah, I'm sure they're, they're up to really amazing things. It's not just Divorce Club, as people famously know them by. They're working on so many uh, other projects and it's a big team it's an actual i didn't think it was this big but it's a really oh, huge team like, it's a big place the real world yeah yeah and it, I it, was love, a pleasure. Uh, it was a great pleasure to get yeah. to obviously see all the different people and to see the fact that you know they have they are in a different place where they've gotten to adjust to a different style of work ethic which basically obviously is um, extremely needed in terms of elevating the Zambian entertainment industry. And here at TGZ TV, we definitely look forward to seeing what more Kazadi Films has got in store for us. They've said they've got about, what, five, four, five projects, you know, coming up in 2022. So people need to make sure that they stay, you know, tuning in and they stay alerted. Make sure that you go to the Kazadi Films website, the Kazadi Films um, YouTube channel, as well as obviously the Kazadi Films Facebook, where you they always post their updates, as well as their Instagram. Um, all of it being Kazadi Films. If it's not just Kazadi Films, some of it's official Kazadi Films. And keep yourself updated on what they have in store. And obviously, whatever it is that they bring we're definitely going to be doing probably reviews and talking about it and obviously showing our 100 percent um support and so just before we go guys you know we just want to remind you if you are watching us over on youtube please do not forget to click on that like button of the video you're watching right now and of course on the subscribe button as well as the bell button so that you can receive notifications every time we upload new content and of course if you're watching us over on facebook do not forget to click the like button on the video that we're watching right now and of course, do not forget to follow the pages that you're watching from, which is either the Global Zambian Magazine or Zambian Videos. And of course, click those notifications so that you can receive alerts every time we go live, as we are right now, and of course, every time we post brand new content from our website. But otherwise, um, from myself and Nana, with many, many thanks from the um, from from David Kazadi himself, Kazadi Films, and the the crew and staff of Kazadi Films, we thank you. We thank you for coming in and speaking to us today. But until next time, from myself and Nana, it is goodbye. Have a good Bye. afternoon. You are watching Bye. TGZ TV. The Global Zambia. The only magazine that celebrates quality, cross-culture lifestyle and entertainment.